Chapter 7 exercise. In this exercise, we're going to take our conference room from Chapter 5, and we're going to create a title block for it. And so we'll take our drawing in model space and then be able to create this title block. And since most people have 8.5 by 11 uh, printers at home, we'll create an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper for that. And so I have the conference room drawing And we were putting this on the OCC title block. And let's say that we didn't do that. How would I go about creating a, a drawing without a template or without a layout? What I would do is basically in model space, I would just go and copy control C and then say file new. And I would just choose the ACAD template and say, okay. And then I would say control V Click a spot and hit enter, and then do Z for zoom, A for all. Z for zoom, A for all. And there's my, my drawing. Check the units. And so when you use the ACAD template, I believe it's typically decimal. And so we want to change that to architectural since we're working in feet and inches. All right, we can turn off the grid. And then what you'll notice is that we just have these two blank layout tabs. So when we switch over to one of the layout tabs, we should see our conference room in that viewport. And yep, there it is. If I double click in the viewport, I can set the scale kind of like they have in the textbook right here. And then what we can do is we can create uh, the title block area for the information that we're going to fill out. And they didn't put text in here. All they did was create sort of a, a table for that. And so what they want to do here is to create this little block here that's going to be put in the lower right-hand corner. And so if we come back to the drawing here, what we would do is double-click out here in paper space. And then we would go... There we are. and we would create this geometry. And so I would just go through with offsets and trim to create a two and a half inch by one and a quarter inch. And when you create these, you create them in paper space. So you double click out here, make sure that you have the paper space icon. And then we would start by drawing a line one dash one fourth by two dash one half oops and then we can close that Typically, when I work with something like this, I'll make a viewport layer and I'll put the object on that viewport or I'll put the viewport on the viewport layer. If you click on it and you right click and you go to quick properties, you'll see that it is a viewport. And good technique would be to go and create a layer for it where you could say viewport, new layer, call it viewport. Give it a color so you can identify it.
And then what we can do is we can transfer that to the viewport layer. Back to creating the construction for our title block. We're just going to go in offset 3 eighths of an inch, quarter of an inch, 3 sixteenths as shown. So we're going to say offset 3 slash 8. Select the line, select the side, enter, right mouse click, repeat offset, quarter, repeat offset, three sixteenths, and we do three sixteenths twice. And then it just leaves that it's whatever the remainder is. And then we'll offset one and a quarter and one and seven eighths. We'll trim that and then we'll offset one and seven eighths. And we'll trim this as well. We can set up um, the line weight. It looks like we have a line weight on this. If I look at the layer properties, when I created uh, this geometry, I created it on layer zero. Um, at least I think I did. Let's check. Yeah, it's on layer zero. And if we wanted to, I think we can put this on a title block layer and so we could say layer properties title block and I think I'll leave it uh, with the default color here and then what we'll do in the next step for this exercise is to create a viewport that's 10 and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And we can then put that viewport on our title block and set the scale to a quarter of an inch equals a foot for our conference room. So we can go to the viewport layer we want we can delete this one actually I think what they did was they resized it but I'll just delete it just do a new one if I draw a straight line and a horizontal line and then I offset ten and a quarter inches You can just see it barely over here. And then if I offset it seven and three quarters, it looks a little generous. Let's check that again. Oh. 
Yeah, that's right, seven and three quarters. And then we can extend these. Use a grip. Trim it. Move it. Within our printable area, we can then move our title block. And then we can make a viewport out of this by turning it into a polyline with pedit, p-e-d-i-t. We select one of the lines, turn it into a polyline, yes, and join. Hit enter and hit enter again. Now this is a polyline. And then we can say view, viewport, object. And now that's acting as a viewport. Double click inside the viewport. And we can set the scale at a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Pan that over and lock it. All right, so that completes the exercise for chapter seven, creating an A-size title block, or eight and a half by 11.